Hello, everybody. This is Lily. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so happy for you to be here. And look at my hands, you guys. I kind of already got started with this uh, creative mess. And that's because I was working on a prototype. And this is my prototype. Let me show you what we are going to make today. So this is my mixed media collaged envelope. So I'm working on a bunch of these. Uh, for the upcoming journals that I have. Now, I wanted to work with envelopes. And in fact, I already have a whole bunch of collaged envelopes ready to go. Um, and normally I make these from junk mail envelopes, but I actually bought a box of envelopes at the thrift store. And so I want to use those up, these window ones. So I thought, let's, uh, let's use them. Because remember, it's use it or lose it. And so I have this huge box of envelopes and and I wanted to work with paint and I wanted to work with markers. I actually wanted to work with a lot of the items that I have that I have been neglecting. So use it or lose it. So we can also call it a use it or lose it session, but let's get to it because it's, it's a somewhat of a long process uh, to do these and I want to keep it as short as possible for you guys. So uh, let's just get right into it, but look at how beautiful these are. I'm going to kind of bring them up to the camera a little bit so you can kind of see what I've done. So I started on these uh, a day or so ago, okay? And I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't. Uh, so I just kind of grabbed some paints and then I painted it and I left it alone, came back the next day, and then all of the creative juices just kind of started flowing. And that's, sometimes that's what we have to do. We just have to start playing. And because I had really no direction at all, I had to step away, you guys, because I didn't know that it would turn into this beautiful, beautiful envelope. Look at it. Look at all those colors. I love this so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at the other side. There's some little doodling and drawing. And so that's why I kind of want to start working on it so I could show you. Um, let's create one of them. See if I can get one done before um, I run for too long. Okay, but look at that. It's paint, it's collage pieces, and I'm really just using stuff that is um, on my desk, stuff that I've already set aside for um, for working on this project, but I didn't know how I was going to do it, so here we are. Okay, so there we go, there we go. Oh my gosh, I just love how vibrant this is. And this actually reminds me a little bit of embroidery. Okay, so I'm going to set these aside. And I'm going to tell you how I got started. So the very first thing I did is I grabbed a couple of envelopes. These are the envelopes that I purchased at the thrift store. It was like a big box for only a dollar or so. And if I have a video on how I work with junk mail envelopes and how I think I have a video as to how I attach these. So basically, this is what I do. I just kind of, kind of put them together there to kind of form like a little booklet. But what I did a little bit different with these, because there are windows here, I had to trim off, I trimmed this off. So set these aside and bring in the prototype over here. <laughs> okay, so what I've already done, and I'll show you with one of them. So I just cut it down because the flap, once I, I just cut the tip off. And that's so when I bring them, when I bring them together like this, that extra flap isn't going to cover up my window. Uh, I don't know why I don't want it to cover my window, but I didn't. I wanted the windows to be visible and that's what I did. So the next thing I did is I glued these two flaps together. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm using an old garbage uh, grocery, brown paper grocery sack. Um, as as my little junk papers here. Do we have glare? Put that there. Okay. So I'm going to glue these flaps together. Okay. Okay, just kind of line them up. And that is how I glue these together. And now put a little bit of glue on this side. On the inside of it. And that is how we glue it together to kind of make 
a little flap and then I'll fold it here just to make that fold that crease there okay the other thing that I do really quick is once these go in the signature um, it might be a little bit too close to the um, the binding here so I'm going to open this up a little bit so what I do is I'm just going to clip away add it just a little just a little bit do you see that and then cut the excess off what this does is it just makes it and I've talked about this before in other videos when I make pockets it just makes it easier so once it is in the signature you have actually more room to be able to insert a tag or paper whatever it is you put into that pocket and so I'll do the same thing on both sides and then just cut that. Now, I've already done that with a different envelope. Did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I was way ahead of the game, you guys. I thought I would make um, uh, like have samples of my process so as not to take up too much time in the video. But I missed a few steps. So, but that's it. It doesn't take very long. So, do you see what I mean here? So now we have a more accessible pocket. So here is the envelope. The next step that I did is, and you could see that I've already kind of set up here um, the paint that I was working on. You guys, I always misplace. Here we go. I tend to misplace the pin that goes into my glue. Oh, and I only have one. So there we go. Okay, so I have, we're going to kind of do some painting and I don't want to use a brush. So I took out my faux jelly plate and this is my, my large baggie with a little bit of foam. I have a faux jelly plate video and I will link it down below and at the end of this video so you can go see how I did this and how I work with it. So that is what I'm going to use to paint this with my brayer just to make it super fast and easy and um, less... There's less to clean up actually by doing it like this. Okay, so add a little bit of glue there. Now I have, so let's just paint. So what I did is I just rolled, <laughs> rolled the paint even over the windows because um, I don't know, I just thought that's what I wanted to do. And I'll show you in my little prototype how I wiped away some of that um, some of that paint off of the window. But I actually wanted it to be a little painty, and it just reminded me of maybe um, an old window, you know, from from a building or a home where it's been painted so many times, where you get a little bit of that paint on the window, and that's what I wanted. And so this is what I did. And now to finish, to kind of get into those crevices there, I took a wipe and then I took some of that paint onto the wipe and then I just kind of filled in, filled in those gaps or those crevices with paint. So, and I did this instead of using a paintbrush because I'm in the basement. I don't have any um, running water down here. That's why. <laughs> because it was easy and it worked for me. But if you want to use a paintbrush for this, then yeah, that'll work for you really well. So you just go in there and kind of paint that all up. And while I was doing this, then I kind of went over the window envelopes and just wiped away a little bit of the paint just a little bit like that. And at first I thought, oh, that's gonna look like stained glass. Kinda like stained glass? I don't know. I honestly didn't know where I was going with this. I was just playing. And I was kinda uh, lacking inspiration the other day when I started doing this. And all I did is painted the envelopes and got super messy. And then I just walked away from it. And then I left it because I honestly didn't know what I was going to do. And I'm so glad that I walked away because the next day when I came back to it, oh my gosh, I was so inspired. And I think it's just because it's, you know, one of my favorite colors to use. And it just prompted all of these ideas. 
So now I'm going to paint the back side of it. And so I just put a little bit of scrap paper in there um, to cover that up. And again, I just rolled that paint. And on this side right here, I kind of, it was just haphazard. I didn't care if it didn't cover up all of it. Um, it kind of looked like chippy paint, almost like weathered, like years and years of, of just layers and layers of paint. And, and that's what I did there. And then I just picked up the excess um, just by putting it on my little faux jelly jelly plate here. Okay. So, and that's kind of what I ended up with. And I really liked it. So I like how that looks. Okay. So I will show you. I have one that I've already prepared in advance because it needs to dry for just a second. It doesn't take very long, but I already have one. Ta-da! So this is what I have and this is what I created. So now I'm going to set this aside. I don't need this anymore. So this is what I have. Let me see, I don't, do I have glare? Okay, I'm gonna put that there in case I have glare here on the table. Okay, so we're going to work with this. And then let me show you my prototypes. So maybe I'll put that here so you can see that right there, right there. And then I'll put my prototype over here. And then I just started kind of picking up little bits and pieces of collage. And I started with one layer at a time. Again, um, I didn't know the direction I was going in, but I knew that if I started with a collage that I would eventually get to where I wanted to be. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do is kind of mimic what I've already done over here. Let me show you over here. So I already have my pieces. Uh, pre-cut again for the sake of time now that I know what I'm doing and I was just so excited I wanted to share this with you so this right here I used I fussy cut some flowers from some scrapbooking paper let me show you what what it looked like so this is scrapbooking paper and I do have uh, digital flowers I have purchased I have Tim Holtz flowers and then I have this floral paper pad so this is where those those came from but I could also use magazine cutouts or flowers from from book pages whatever flowers you have um, is what I used and then I went through my little scrap pieces of paper and um, I just started cutting cutting away at some of the scrap paper and just started gluing things down now I knew that uh, if I didn't like it, if I didn't like what I was working on, I was okay with it. But because I was lacking inspiration the other day, I thought that if I started painting, it would eventually take me to, to a better creative process. You know, my sister and I were talking about earlier, is it a slump? She's in a slump. I wasn't in a slump. I was just needing some inspiration. <laughs> Look at my hands. Okay. So then what I did. Oh, and let me show you one other thing that I did. So if you look here, we have this lattice. And this lattice came from a little pad that I purchased a few years ago from Michaels. I don't know if they if they still have this line anymore. But it was a, the Fiesta collection. And it is like papel picado. Let me show you. Papel picado, it's like that fiesta paper. So that's what that is. And it had these little lattice um, pages in there. And I only had one left. I honestly don't remember what I did with the other ones. And what I did is I took one and I just cut it in half and used pieces here um, to glue it down. That, that was just by happenstance. I didn't know what I was going to do. Because I don't have any more of that lattice, this is what I've done. So I have a Tim Holtz die. Where is it? It's here on the table somewhere, you guys. I'll show you when I find it. Um, but here is, it's a Tim Holtz die. And look at how cool that is. So I thought this looked like that lattice. So I went ahead and I cut some out. There's different, there's four dies in it. And oh my gosh, they are beautiful. 
And so I thought we could use one of these. So look at that. It's here somewhere. So as soon as I find it, I will show it to you. Oh, here it is. It's over here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is what I used. This Tim Holtz dye. If you want to know what this is called or the order, uh, the, the product number, uh, let me know and I'm happy to, to share that information with you. Um, just uh, leave me a comment down below and I'll let you know. But this is amazing. And can you believe I've really not used this in the past, but I remembered that it resembled that. Okay, so we glue that down and then I've already fussy cut these flowers here. So, so I'm just gonna glue that down like a little collage, okay? And now the, the, the prototypes that I made, I call them prototypes because <laughs> they are now. I took my time with them and, but I just love, you guys, I love how they turned out. They turned out amazing. And then, whoa, hold on, I'm way, I got too far ahead. Okay, so I have these little pieces of paper. It's from scrapbooking paper, it looks like lace. So I thought I could use that there. But instead, I also have this lace tape. And I've had this for a really long time. This is lace tape that I bought from Stampin' Up a long time ago. So even if you have like lace or digital lace pieces, you know, you could use that. This is what I happen to have. We need to use up our stash. So whatever it is that you have, ribbon, lace, washi, <laughs> Everything goes. Do I want that one there? Let's see, what am I missing? I think I wanna use a little piece of gold. I did that over here just to add a little bit of bling. Just no rhyme or reason. I just wanted to add a little bit of gold. Okay. And I will just glue that there. And this is already sticky. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope my hands aren't covering too much. Do I need to zoom in some more? Let's see if we're okay where I am. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, now glue that down. So just a little bit of gold, kind of little glitter, add a little bling to that. So then I wanted to add a little butterfly. And this is a butterfly from Artie Mays. Oh, she has beautiful butterflies. So let's add that little butterfly. Okay. And then I added some words. So I know I've already pre-cut my words. I have my own Spanish phrases over here. This one says, hola hermosa. Hello, beautiful. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, pretty. You can say it many different ways. So, so let's put that there. So that is that. And then I had little stickers. Let's see. This is a sticker sheet from Maggie Holmes. I've had this for a long time. I would like to order another one because all my favorite stickers I've already used. And then I put little, these are clear stickers. I just put those in the little windows because I thought they would look cute there. Okay. And I'll bring it up close. So you could see that. So love how that turned out. And then on this side, this is where I used the, um, like the lattice. Look at that bright pink color, that is gorgeous. So the first thing I did is I glued it down. So glued that down. Okay. Woo! Okay, down to the edge. If some of that glue comes out, it dries clear, so that's nice. So there is that, and then I've already pre-cut some more flowers. So how do I want it? Oh, like that. So add some more flowers. Okay. Look at 
how beautiful that is. Oh, so easy, so simple. And then I also added more words. So here's another one. Uh, let's see, this one. This one says, Hoy va a ser un gran día. Today's going to be a great day. That's what that says. So cut that down. And I could, what I did to the others is I kind of went around the edges just to darken it up a little bit. So just really quick. And then glue it down. So let's do... Do you see how that the windows look? I just love that. That little painty mess on those windows. That looks so great. So right there. Yes. Look at that. So great. Okay. Okay. Here's a part that might take a little bit longer, but I think you'll enjoy it. I think that I had a really good time uh, with this process. And you could see here what I did is I just doodled some roses and I didn't look up any roses for inspiration. I wanted it to come from my mind. You guys, I am not an artist. So that is my rendition of a rose. Um, it, it may or may not look like a rose, but it does to me. And so that's what I did. And then added just some little doodle borders here. These were a lot easier. These are like little daisies. So that was much easier, but I actually enjoy doing these a little bit, uh, a little bit more than the daisy. So let's do that. You guys want to see me doodle? Let's see. All right. Okay. So the very first thing I did is I just uh, started going all around and I hope you can see what I'm doing. Maybe I will. Um... So that's all I did. It's really just little squiggly lines. And, um, and then I just kind of darkened in some of the areas, just colored it in a little bit to kind of give it the illusion of a flower, you know? Of, of a rose so that's it once you put them all together uh, I think that once I tied them in with with some ivy you know it it started kind of looking like a rose because right now it's just a bunch of squiggly lines that I just kind of colored in but I really like how they turned out and then once you add the leaves to it that also really helped to give it the look of a flower and I just went all around and that's what I did. So, you know, whatever, if you decide to give this a try, you could do, you know, whatever flower. Once you add all of the other elements to it, it just, it will start coming, you know, it'll start coming together. You could even do tulips. Um, simple daisies and then add some areas that are brighter my sister said oh my gosh you guys she is so funny when I told her that I was going to be doing this video because I kind of showed her uh, my prototypes I'm like hey look what I created when I wasn't inspired and when I told her that I was gonna I was gonna draw these she's like no you can't you know that's gonna take too long for you to do a video and um, show your doodling process. And I said, Iris, it really didn't take. My sister's name is Iris. I was like, it really didn't take me that long. You know, it just took a, a few minutes um, to, to doodle these, these flowers. And she says, oh no, that would take way too long. Maybe, you know, I know if I, if I took my time, you know, I, it would, it would, uh, but I'm kind of rushing, you know, I am rushing through this, but do you see how they're kind of taking, um, the shape of a flower of a rose? I think it's important to know you guys, um, that if we lack the skills to do something, you know, it's like, oh, I can't draw. So, you know, I, I, I can't do that. I can't draw either. You guys, you know, I, I am not an artist. I am not a drawer. Um, this is totally just coming from what I think is <laughs> a rose, but I'm, I'm sure not going to let it stop me. 
you know, I'm going to give it a try. And I know that as with anything, the more that we practice, you know, the better that we will get. But, but I understand if you feel you are intimidated, you know, to do anything like this, the other thing that you could do is, you know, you could do a stamp. And I know that I have, I have flower stamps that I could probably done this with, you know, to save more time. Uh, but I needed to do something that was uh, more intense or more creative than just, um, than just stamping. I love stamping. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But I needed to do more. So maybe I won't go all the way around. So now the next thing that I did was I just added um, just a little swirly ivy in there, you know, or what looks like an ivy to me, you know, just little curlies in there. So do you see like that? And then um, I just started drawing some leaves. By the way, these are paint markers and they are by Delusions. And these are great. Again, another item that I wanted to use that I don't use very often, you know. So going back to the use it or lose it. Use it or lose it stash. So that is what we are going to do. My leaves are... Nothing major, nothing grand. So, and I hope you're able to see. I hope this is good. Super, super, <laughs> super, super easy. It's just the illusion of leaves, you guys. Just the illusion. Um, this is not a Picasso. You know, Art Magazine is not coming over knocking at my door. To ask me you know about my masterpiece <laughs> it's a masterpiece to me and you know I am creating it because I like the way that looks these are my little haphazard roses but can you see how they look once it all you bring it all together it starts taking shape and it starts looking amazing so then the next thing I wanted to do was add little hearts because hearts make me happy and so I just went in there again. This is with the orange delusions marker. And I just went in and I started um, making, adding little hearts um, to this. So what I, you know, I'll do off camera is I'll go in there and finish adding um, the little more details, you know, color around, you know, add more of the red color into the roses, but I don't, these are doodle roses and, and I just love how they look. And then these little hearts, oh, they are beautiful. They're beautiful to me, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Just pick up a pen, a marker, a crayon, whatever it is you have and start doodling. Okay. Then I took, what else did I do? Oh, I added little dots because why not? Oh, but I actually use the black one for little dots and that's just to add some little, little speckles in there. Okay. So I did that. Just throughout, I don't know, little speckles. They almost look like, you know, like I just added some little splatters on there. And that just, I think it just gives it more dimension. Okay, the other thing that I did along this border right here is where I did that little doodle. Let me bring that back over here. You can see that little doodle there. That reminds me of like lace or like a veil. So I thought I'm going to add that here. And so, okay. Can you see? Okay, so can you see that? <laughs> They are not even, they are just my little doodles here. And I just, I just love the way that looks. So the little scallops, and then I went in and I added just little dots, little dots in there. Da, 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 da. 
So yeah, my sister thought it was just going to take me forever. And maybe, you know, depends on what you guys like to see. If you want to see the whole process, then, then, you know, it's no big deal. But, you know, if watching me doodle is too tedious, you know, I understand. But there you go. Look at that. I'm going to bring it up a little bit closer. I'll bring up the one that I had done that I kind of took my time with. Um, just so you could see, you know, what that looks like. Okay. And then this one, if, I'll go in and, you know, add some more red color. But can you see how that looks? And then that trim, all of that trim right there. I don't know. I really like how that, you know, I like how that looks. And of course, once this side is finished, it'll look, oh, just as pretty. But I wanted to show you my process a little bit and then um, I'll finish it and have that other side completed so it will look like this. And then to finish up the inside of this envelope, I did add some washi tape. And so I've got washi tape over here on this side. So let's add some washi tape and that just kind of adds a nice little, nice little touch to it just makes the inside uh, look a little finished. Let me put the cap on this. Okay. So that is why my desk is so crazy messy right now, or my table, but it's only, you know, only the stuff that I'm working on right now. And so, yeah. Oh, look at that. So there you go. Oh. I almost forgot. I did have one other thing that I did before I forget. So I'm going to grab my splatter box. So here is my box right there. And we all know how much I love Heidi Swap's Gold Shine. But I also have Color Shine in white. So that is what I am going to use. Some of that, but I'm going to kind of cover that right there. Okay, so we're gonna do some little white splatters. And I was, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, I've not used this before my prototype, had not used these at all. And I thought they would be um, more transparent, but they're actually somewhat opaque. And I'll show you on the finished projects or the finished envelopes that I made that you can kind of see the splatters. It does add a nice shimmer, so pretty. And then I even think I sprayed some. I did this. So I added some shimmer. Okay. So look at that and I'll show you the ones that I finished. Can you see that? Yeah, let's see, I'll bring it up. Bring it 